Hello friends, welcome to SQL Practical Question Series. So in this video, we are going to learn about another SQL, another uh, SQL question. But this is very interesting question because in this particular uh, video, we are going to write four different type of SQL for the same problem. Okay, so here is the problem. Given the employee table, what you need to do is you need to write a select statement to fetch the list of employees who is getting salary more than the average salary of the department where he is working in. For example, if you want to check whether a particular employee is eligible or not, you need to compare his salary with his department's average salary. If his salary is more than the average salary, then you need to display him in the result set. Okay. So if you already know the basics of SQL, I would suggest you pause this video, just try around, try more than one way that would be better and then come back and just continue watching. Or if you are a fresher, I would suggest you just continue watching, learn all the four different types of SQL, then start writing by your own and try to understand the difference between each. After completing the four different type of SQL now, we are just going to compare to know which one will be better. Because the actual learning is to understand the underlying execution path. The reason is many times during our performance tuning activities, we need to write rewrite a particular query in a different ways because at a given point of time, only one would be an optimized SQL. So this type of uh, questions will improve our SQL understanding. Okay, let us start. So here is the employee table which contains like 14 employee information. So we are just going to start writing our first method. Okay, so just keep it in mind. We need to do two things here. One is like computing the average salary of the department. And the second thing is we need to compare the department's average salary and the uh, employee average uh, employee salary. So two things. One is like first computing an average salary. The second operation is like comparison. Okay, we'll start with our first method. So here is a simple query. First, it just simply computes the it's a simple group by uh, query, right? Which simply computes the department wise average salary. As you can see, the result is for each department, we got what is the average salary. Now what we are what we need to do is we need to just compare the employee salary and the average salary. So here is the employee table information. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use this as a inline view in the from class. Okay. I'm just giving an alias as B. Then we can say where a dot department number equal to b dot department number. Let me just first execute this query. So as you can see here, for every employee, now we got the salary as well as the average salary information in the same record. Now it's, it's just a matter of comparing whether that particular employee's salary is greater than average salary or not. Okay. Now we can say and a dot salary greater than b dot average salary okay so here it's very simple the method what we are using here is the we have used the inline view that is we are computing the average salary in the inline view and that we are using in the from class then we are just comparing in the where condition very simple okay now let us start learning our second way of achieving the same result set in a different type of query so let us again start with a simple select star from an employee. Now what we are going to do is a, I'm just going to use the correlated subquery a dot salary greater than select average of b dot salary from employee b where a dot department number equal to b dot department number. Okay. So now see the query in the in inner query that is the in the inner portion of the query we are actually computing the average salary that is for each department you can see here okay then we are actually comparing the thing in the outer query so this is the correlated subquery so what happens here is that for every record from the outer query that is for every uh, record from the employee a table the inner query will just get executed so for every employee for that particular department number, the average salary will be computed and that average salary will be compared with the employee's salary. So if the condition satisfies, that is if the employee's salary is greater than the average salary, then that particular employee will be displayed. So this is our second way that is using the correlated subquery. We got the same result. Okay. Now we'll see our third method of writing the select statement. So again, I'm starting from the employee. 
the third method what i'm going to do i'm just going to use the analytical function the reason is say as i already mentioned one is like we need to compute the average salary the second is a comparison so here we have if we have the employee table uh, sorry employee salary from the employee table itself now we need to compute the average salary so i am saying average of salary salary over partition by department number okay now if you see we have got the average salary that is based on the department so for every department we have got its average salary information let us just give a meaningful alias here it's called avg underscore cell yes now we got the things now what we can see in the outer query we can use this as a comparison where salary greater than average salary now if you see we have got the same result set okay so here in the inner query again we have here the main learning is we are using the analytical function okay so in the outer query we have actually used the comparison operator let us learn our fourth method of writing the same select statement okay so i already written the query here so uh, the key learning here is that i'm using a function that to within the with class but be careful this uh, support for function in the select statement is available only from 12c onwards so this this type of sql will not work in the earlier versions of oracle okay so what you can what we can do whatever the function we want to write that is basically i have written a function this uh, syntax of the function is very much similar to the pl sql function only so the intention of the function is basically to compute the average salary for the given department number you can see here for the input department number i am simply computing the average salary and i'm just returning so this function i'm using it in the var condition so whenever this condition satisfy it is just going to display the employee information but just keep it in mind that this function in a select function with class is supported only from 12c see these are the uh, in fact that is another way you can write in a pl sql the same function you can write it in the pl sql and the function can be called here also that is another uh, fifth way also okay now that we have seen four different uh, types of sql we'll just quickly go through this then we'll understand which one will be better so here is the uh, first type of sql we have seen the key learning here is that we are using the uh, entire select statement as a inline view in the from class and we have just uh, computed this uh, average salary in the inline view itself and the comparison happens in the var condition the second method uh, we are actually using the correlated subquery so in the inner query we are computing the average salary so the key learning here is that this is a correlated subquery you need to understand how the correlated subquery works okay so for every record from the employee table this just goes to the inner table and for that particular department that is for a dot department right for this particular thing department this computes the average salary and then the uh, this condition will be evaluated if sal if that particular employee salary is more than average salary then that particular employee information will be displayed so this will just like a loop this iterates for the all the record this is how the correlated subquery works let us see our third method in the third method what we have actually done is that we just simply used the analytical function called analytical function to compute the average salary then the comparison we actually did in the outer query so the fourth method what we have done is actually a, a function you have written in a with class and this particular function we directly used in the var condition so these are the four methods right now we just wrote in fact you can try more also and the key learning here is once you have written all the four different type of sql you should understand it very clearly how it is executing and which one is best okay now we'll see which one is best among the four method so let us start with the first method the first method is very straightforward it is computing the average salary then it is comparing okay let us do a simple explain plan on that particular query the explain plan clearly says that the employee table is going for full table scan twice once for the average salary computation another for the uh, employee selection in the main query so that is the reason it is going for full table scan twice let us see our second query in fact in the second query also you can see the employee table is going for full table scan 
twice okay let us see our uh, third query that is using the analytical function you can see very clearly the employee table is just going for full table scan only once you can see the difference in the cost also here the cost is 3 whereas in the first two queries the cost is actually 6 let us see our fourth method okay so fourth method also it is showing uh, as a uh, full table scan only once but anyway since we have used the function the functions explain uh, details are not available here so obviously this is not a, a right way because even if you call a function from a select statement the number of times as the number of times increases the performance will degrade so definitely fourth is not the best way so let us just strike it out compare yeah, when we compare the first second and third method in this particular scenario i will suggest the third is the best the third is the best select statement because the cost is also less and the employee table is going for full table scan only once compared to the other two methods i hope now this uh, a practical question would have given you a bit clear idea like how you should approach a, a problem and what are the different ways by which you can write a query for a same problem and uh, it would have just given you a small hint to know how can you identify the best among the queries what you have written if you want any questions practical questions to be answered you can just drop in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id uh, if you have learned something new please subscribe and stay tuned subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos interview questions concept videos tips and drink thanks a lot for watching this